Hey, what's going on internet? In this video, we're gonna talk about creating a quick technique, which is creating particles along a path. Hope everyone's doing well today. My name is Josh Noel and I'm from Sunduck Film. So this is gonna be a really quick video on creating these awesome particles by a path, a custom path that you can create and customize yourself. And this is great for revealing on titles and logos and also great for creating subtle particle backgrounds that you can easily control. There's a handful of options here and it's a really cool quick technique to help you enhance your After Effects projects. And before we jump into our tutorial, I wanna say thank you to Premium Beat for sponsoring this video. Premium Beat is a royalty-free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from. And they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system so you can quickly find the best songs for your video. So for your next video project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com for your royalty-free music. So let's go ahead and start creating our custom particle paths right now. All right, we got After Effects loaded up and we have a tutorial composition. All we have in here is a background and just a title animation, but we're gonna focus on the particles and we're gonna get started on it right now. So in order to create particles along the path, what we're gonna do is go to Layer, New, Null Object. And we're gonna grab the pen tool right here and we're gonna draw out our path. And this can do anything that we want it to do. So, so I'm simply gonna like zoom out here and I want my particles to start over here on the left side of the composition. And I'm just gonna draw out like these nice uh, you know, vertices and, you know, we're just going to say, hey, this is where I want our particles to go. And simply it's just going to follow this path that we just created like so. And also you could have just created a circle with the ellipse tool as well. It doesn't matter what path you create. You can use any, you know, tool to create a mask. And when you have your path ready to go, you open up mask one and you go to mask path and you can copy it. So control C on a PC, command C on a Mac. And then you hit P on keyboard for position. And come here to the beginning of your timeline and paste in that data. So uh, control V and I can delete the mask now because we don't need it. And now simply our null object will follow this path like so. And the best thing about this is you get these keyframes that allow you to stretch out the animation to be however long you want it to be. So you can drag that last keyframe out and you know, it's no problem at all. And now let's go up to layer new solid and we'll call this particles. And then we'll go to effect simulation CC particle world and the first thing I want to do is get this to follow our path so what we'll do here is we'll come here to the producer and we're gonna come here to the position X Y and Z and we're gonna create an expression for these to follow our you know our null object path so I have these expressions right here I'll drop these in the description so you can copy them as we go so simply what we'll do is we'll copy the first expression here and we'll come here to position X and we'll alt click the stopwatch and we'll paste that expression in there now the only thing you might have to change is the null object. So my null object is set to null 11. So I was gonna type that in there. Yours will probably be null one. Just make sure depending on your null object number, this is where you know it says it right here. So null 11 in my case. Then we'll go ahead and copy the second expression and we'll alt click the stopwatch for position Y. We'll paste that expression in there and make sure that says null 11 as well. Grab the last expression, copy it, and then we'll alt click the stopwatch for position Z at the top and we'll paste that in there and make sure it says the correct null object. And then on that last expression, you'll get an error. Just make sure the null object is a 3D layer and you can put the particles underneath the null object. And now the particles will follow the path and this looks you know, terrible, but we got the right idea going here. And now we can start adjusting the particles to make this look really good and turn this into an awesome composition. And of course, we're gonna do a lens flare as well here built inside of After Effects to add on to this. So let's go ahead and work on the particles first and then let's jump onto like a lens flare to you know, make this look awesome. So let's go ahead and open up the particle world and let's go right into the particle, go right into the good stuff. And here's the particle type. We can change this to whatever we want. I'm gonna do a faded sphere. You know, you can do whatever you want. Try polygon cubes, those are really cool. But here is our faded sphere. And then let's come here to the birth size and I'm gonna set this to 0.08. I'm gonna come here to the depth size and set this to 0.04, or you can keep it at 0.08, it's up to you. I'm gonna set the size variation up to 100% and the max opacity up to 100%. And then I'm gonna come here and I can change the color of our birth color. And I can change the depth color if I want to. Okay, so now we have the particle ready to go. Let's go ahead and maybe increase the birth rate up to about six. And then we can also increase the longevity up to about four seconds or so. And this will allow us to keep more particles on as 
you know, over time. And this will allow us to keep more particles up over time. Now, this is still looking pretty bad, but this is all in the physics now. So let's go ahead and open up the physics and come here to the animation. And we'll set this to twirly. I really like this animation. It's really nice. All right, and we're still a work in progress. Let's go ahead and bring the velocity down to 0 0.06. And it'll kind of contain the particles a little bit, but they're still going crazy. So let's go ahead and set the gravity uh, down to zero. We don't want any gravity. And, you know, things are looking a little bit better. And let's come here to the inherent velocity percent. And let's set this up to 5%. And then let's come here to the extra. Let's set this down to zero. And now we're really starting to see that trail of particles and starting to look really good. And one thing we can do here is animate the extra angle. And this will kind of rotate the particles, if you will. So what we'll do here is all click the stopwatch for extra angle. And we'll type in time, asterisk 100. And we just click off of this. And this will add a little bit more animation to our, you know, particles like so. Okay, so now let's go back into the producer. And let's set the X radius down to zero, the Y radius to zero. For the Z radius, let's set this up to like 0.4, kind of move this out by a little bit. And you see that kind of creates a little bit of depth to our particles and, you know, in a little nice wave. So it looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and continue working on this real quick. So let's go back into the particle and let's come here to the volume shade and let's set this up to about 40%. And then we'll come here to extras. Let's come here to uh, depth cube and let's set the type to fade. Let's go ahead and bring the volume shade down to like 40%. There you go. So now we have our particles in here and they look pretty cool. So we kind of have a little bit of, you know, design here for our, you know, animation along a path. And then what we can do here is turn on motion blur for our, our particles and turn on the top. So we have extra blurriness in there and that looks great. So now let's go ahead and work on our lens flare. So let's go up to layer new solid and we'll call it flare. And if you have the plugin optical flares, I would suggest using it at this time. But if you don't, I'm not going to use it. We're going to go up to uh, effect generate and we're going to add uh, lens flare. And I'm going to go right to the 105 prime preset. I really like this one. And simply all we're going to do is alt click the stopwatch for flare center. And we'll go to our null 11 or whatever null object you're using. We'll hit P on keyboard for position. We'll go right into the expression and we'll just uh, grab the pick whip and bring it to the position. And now the lens flare will follow our path like so very easily. Toggle switch the modes and set the blend mode to like screen. So now we'll be able to see our particles and flare and all that. Let's bring down the flare brightness down to like 20%. And then you can also go up to effect color correction curves and we can change the color of this. So, you know, start optimizing our color correction. All right, and when you have something you like, you can just stop there. And now let's go back to our particles layer and let's go to effect stylize glow. So let's increase the glow radius up to maybe about 60 and then let's set the glow intensity up to like maybe two to three intensity there. And now our particles are beginning to uh, pop. And then one last touch up we can do this is go to layer new uh, adjustment layer, go to effect noise and grain and let's add noise and set the noise up to maybe like five or 6% and uncheck use color noise. And this will add like, like a little bit more you know, dimension to our composition. And when it's all said and done, you should have a composition like this. And then what I added on top of this composition was an extra lens flare and uh, some dust that en helped enhance this composition. And I got this assets from a awesome 8,000 asset pack called Cine Punch, which obviously ranged from the, you know, the lens flares to the particles all the way to, you know, transitions for Adobe Premiere, 2300 sound effects, and tons of other elements like fractals, fire and fog and since there's over 8,000 assets in this pack it just brings tremendous value to every project no matter what you're working on there's always gonna be elements that you can use across any type of project so if so if you want to check out sending punch in all 8,000 plus assets you can check out links in the video description it'll take you right over to Sydney punch and also for our title animation I used an extension for After Effects called Toko which has over 1300 elements uh, inside of After Effects with its own user interface I'll just go ahead and drop that link in the description if you want to learn more so this you can create your own custom particle paths using the built-in particle system inside of After Effects. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post two post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my Instagram and chat with me along with many other creators on our Discord. Those links are in the video description. And always, be creating.